Hello everybody, it's me Heather and I'm actually doing a first impression kind of unboxing video for you today of two Mac items that I picked up. This just launched online uh, yesterday as of this recording and this literally just arrived today. It is 6.37 p.m. my time here in California. UPS is running behind with all the holiday packages and Black Friday hauls that they're having to ship to people. So I did actually pay for this to overnight and it just now arrived here in the evening and let me show you what I'm talking about. So I picked up, um, Mac has a new permanent collection so if you guys like what you see, if I like what I see, we don't have to like run out and go get this right now. We have time. We can actually go buy presents for other people other than ourselves. So there's a bunch of new lipsticks. There's 10 new shades. These are called the Ultimate Lipstick and I believe they're supposed to have good pigmentation with a lot of shine. I really wanted to show you guys this because at first I was just going to open this up and take some pictures and do what I usually do then film a video but I was like no let's just do this now because I opened up the box and I have some other items in the box I'll share those with you in another video but um look at this this is a regular size this is just a regular MAC lipstick I'll tell you what it is in another video but this is the ultimate lipstick okay look at this first off you see the size difference let me put it that way you see the size difference? This is pretty much 50% bigger. Look, it can fit inside of there. It has room on both sides. It is, you know, this is bigger than this. And also, I don't know how well you can tell. You can probably tell. This box has got this really cool black shiny look to it, kind of like chrome. So I'm going to bust this open. I picked up the shade Marque, and we'll just see what it looks like. And I haven't opened these at all yet. I've only seen pictures online. And cool. Look at that. It kind of reminds you of like a chess piece or like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a bed, like the leg of a bed. <laughs> kind of like that, like a furniture leg. Kind of like that. That's pretty cool looking. And look, it's like chrome. And it feels a little heavier than your standard MAC lipstick. Oh, and I wanted to talk about that really quick because I did notice this on the box. So. I know you're anxious to see it, but let me show you this. So a regular MAC lipstick has 3 grams of product, or 0 0.1 ounces. So 3 grams of product. This ultimate lipstick has 4.3 grams. 4.3 grams, or 0 0.15. So you get 3 grams for a regular MAC lipstick and 4.3 grams. So it is a little bigger, and not just the packaging. It's actually got more product in there, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's take a look. So, oh, I thought it was going to come off right here for some reason. That actually surprised me. Okay, so it's MAC right there at the handle. It's got that really pretty chrome finish. It's got a nice clasp to it. And here's the color I selected. I already removed my lipstick, so we could just do a live lip swatch. Why not? I am an NC30, NC, yeah, NC30, NC35 in MAC. And I think I'm leaning more towards NC30 right now. And I have a mirror here, so let's just apply this and see what it feels like. So as you know, I like to build up my color, so it's not unusual for me to like apply it like 50 times to really build up that color. But this has nice pigmentation. It has a very nice lightweight feel to it. It smells like the standard MAC you know, um, vanilla. But what I'm also noticing is like the texture on this is really nice. It's it's not as dry as a satin. Not that satin lipsticks are dry, but you know what I mean? It's not as firm a texture as a satin lipstick, but it's not as soft as a cream sheen lipstick. It's right in between and this is actually a new finish. They're calling the finishes of the Ultimate Lipsticks Lux. This is a Lux finish. So it's like, it seems to be right in between a satin and a cream sheen to me. So it's a really nice formulation. And I wanted this color because I feel like I don't have a lot of lipsticks that are kind of the my lips but better color. And I thought this would be a good shade going off of what I saw online. And I'm really happy with this selection. Again, again this shade is called Marque. And let me take a look at this next item. That, I don't know. I think a lot of people will be on the fence about whether they want this or not. So this is ooh, a nice big box, huh? And it's also got that shiny kind of chrome look to it. 
This is called the Sheer Mystery Powder. What a great name. And you can see I let myself get super shiny so we can play with this a little. So Sheer Mystery Powder. And from what I could glean from the website, this is essentially a pressed powder. I don't think it's supposed to be anything more special than that. It's just a pressed powder to maybe absorb a little shine, maybe set your makeup a little, maybe, um, you know, set your concealer under your eye a little, maybe. It comes in four shades. This retails for $60. So, yeah, I guess this is the year for me to go expensive on my makeup. I was like, I wanted to try new stuff and really wanted to treat myself this year, and I guess I've been doing it. So. Let me see if I can get this out. Okay. Very nicely packaged. And ooh, that must be the refill. So this actually comes with the powder in the compact as well as a extra refill. So this is the shade medium plus. So there's the refill. It's clearly labeled on the bottom. It's cool. It kind of looks like a roach motel, doesn't it? <laughs> Gross. And here is the compact. Oh, how fun is that? Is that not the coolest looking thing? So, yeah, it says it on the bottom. I got mine in the shade Medium Plus Sheer Mystery Powder. There's a little hole there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, there's a little hole there. So whenever the compact is hit and pan or it's done, you can just poke a little needle through there and you'll be able to pop it out and pop in your new pans. I'm, I like that they did that. And let's see how this looks. And I hope this color will work for me. And I hope I can get this open. Oh, I see how you do it. Okay. Whoops. There we go. Oh, look how pretty. So I'm sure there's a mirror right there. Wow, that is like stuck on there. Oh, no, I think that stays there. <laughs> or does it? No, okay, it's just like... There we go. It's new, so I couldn't get it out. Okay, cool. It comes with a little powder puff. And you can, I'm pretty sure, I think Max sells these individually, so you can probably just pick that up. And because of the textured side here, it was sticking to the mirror. For a second, I thought this was like actual glued in there or something. All right, here's the actual powder. I'm going to put that back on there so I don't blind you guys. Whoops. And there's a little piece of plastic. There we go, protecting that. Ooh, okay. There we go. Let's try it, shall we? I'm actually just going to go ahead and use a big fluff brush. And I'll put it just on the right side. Right side. Left side? I want to do the left side? I think I feel like my left side. No, we'll do the right. <laughs> we'll do the left. <laughs> it's hard to tell what's left and right when you're looking in the viewfinder because sometimes it reverses on camera. Okay, wow. You guys see that? You see the difference? Okay, this is essentially just a pressed powder. It's not a powder foundation, but there's no scent. That's good. There's no offensive scent. It's not perfumed. I hate it when powders have a lot of perfume in them. That can be very annoying. But it has a really nice milled texture to it. Like, and I was able to just, did you guys see when I did this? I was able to literally just touch my brush in there and that picked up enough product to apply on my face. And that just toned down the shine without looking cakey. There you go. Let's do the rest of my face, huh? Wow. Okay, so this is really nice. I really like this. 60 bucks is obviously a bit much. We're obviously pushing it for packaging, but... I do like that it does actually come with a refill. Actually, really nice pressed powder. And this is actually not hard to open. I just didn't know what I was looking at when I first got this. But I like that it just has the little puff that fits right in there, which is nice. It does have a mirror. And I noticed that, like, touching the brush in there, there was not a lot of, like, you know, kickback, as I like to say. There wasn't a lot of, um, I don't want to say fallout because it's pressed powder, but I mean, like, yeah, this all lasts a good while. Okay, I'm pretty impressed. So, like I said, this is $60 for the compact, comes with a refill. The lipstick, the ultimate lipsticks, there's 10 shades. They retail for $23. So, pretty nice if you have a pro discount. Pro discount does apply. 
So yeah, pretty interesting. So what do you guys think of these? Are you going to pick up a lipstick or a sheer mystery powder? What do you guys think about these? Let me know in the comments down below. I love it when you guys interact with me. Would love to hear your thoughts, answer any of your questions if I can. And yeah, that's it. So I'm happy with it. I could definitely see myself picking up another lipstick or two because these are, this one was really nice and I really love the way it looks. Very pretty. Okay. Um, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe here. So next time I upload a video, I'll pop up in your subscription feed. And yeah, questions and comments down below, please. I love it when you guys interact with me. I can't say it enough. That's the most fun part of making YouTube videos is reading your comments and, you know, conversing with you guys <laughs> through the comments. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.